Hey you, I know curly hair can sometimes feel overwhelming and it's tempting to reach for that blow dryer or straightener just to keep things manageable. I've been there too, wondering if it's all worth the effort or if it's just easier to keep it straight. But today I want to show you that embracing your curls doesn't have to be complicated. With the right products and a few simple techniques, you can make your natural curls work for you, not against you. Let's dive into the routine. The first step is nourishing your hair, especially if you often blow dry or straighten it. Heat styling can be really rough on curly hair, so adding a curl cream with protein is essential. Protein is like a building block of our hair. It strengthens and repairs, helping to restore the bounce and health that heat may have stripped away. My favorite options, if you're in India, the Maintain Curl Cream is amazing and I have a discount code. Just use Honest Liz at checkout. If you're in the US, the Mirabel Naturals has a fantastic protein cream too. Here's how I like to apply it. Take a small amount and rub it in your palms and rake it through your hair. Just gently rake and coat all your curls. No tools, no complicated techniques, just raking with your fingers. This ensures even distribution and hydrates each curl. I like to do the raking gradually. First, I will just simply praying hands method, just casually apply the cream everywhere and then I get into my hair, clawing it at it. Uh, not randomly but if you see i'm going clockwise or anti-clockwise so you can choose a direction and start from the bottom and then work your way up to the top you can also switch your um, part <laughs> and uh, make sure you're raking it not just in one direction but in all directions and this way you know that you've evenly applied your curl cream everywhere not you're not just focusing on your good side you know a lot of curly girls have their assy side <laughs> it's like um, they have one side that doesn't look as curly as the other and i find that it it so happens that you may be a righty or a lefty and then you're just focusing on that right side and then then the right side looks better than the left side if you know what i mean remember to scrunch your curl in curl cream also this is just to reinforce the texture and the pattern that we've created. And once you've done that, I'm using the Maintain Volume Gel to get a bit of a lift since my hair tends to get flat after blow drying. One tip I always share with my clients is to use products from the same brand family when possible. These are formulated to work best together and it's less of a guessing game. For those in the US, the Mirable Naturals Flaxseed Gel pairs perfectly with their protein cream. And you can use my code HONESTLESS here for a discount there too. I prefer a medium hole, but choose whatever level you are comfortable with. Curly hair is all about what makes you feel good and what makes your hair look good. Hey, don't forget that if you use gel on your curly hair after your hair dries, your hair can feel a little bit of crunchy, like it can feel like crispy. So you can just um, break that crispiness by working it like this after your hair is fully dry. So it reveals soft curls when you do that. After that, you can either air dry or use a diffuser for extra volume. I personally like to diffuse up to 90% dry, which gives my curls an extra lift. When you diffuse, start gently by cupping your curls, letting the diffuser dry them while keeping the volume. And that's it. Look at the difference. My curls are hydrated, healthy and full of life. You can see how much richer, darker and more defined they look compared to the dry, brown look of the blow dried hair. Hydrated curls really make a difference. They bring out the natural beauty in your hair that heat styling just cannot. I get it, curly hair routines can feel complicated, especially when you're used to straightening. But it doesn't have to be. By using the right products and sticking to these simple steps, you can keep your curls looking healthy and feeling manageable. And remember, if you don't know where to start, my product guide is linked below to help you find what works best for your unique hair needs. 
and if you already have products but feel stuck in the routine i also offer one-on-one -on -one consultations where we can go through your specific hair needs and create a personalized plan spots are limited so grab yours soon if you're ready for that extra guidance Curly hair doesn't have to be overwhelming. With a little patience and the right approach, you can feel great in your curls. Thanks for watching and here's to making curly hair routines simple and empowering. I'll see you next Sunday.